Would you eat this? This is what is fed to students in public schools all over. This is a problem because federal funding for school lunch programs is inadequate. The federal government mandates schools that receive federal money serve a free lunch to poor children, but the money isn't enough to pay for healthy foods. Bob Mellon, director of the Center for Childhood Obesity, says that too much junk food and little exercise are two of the causes of childhood obesity, but it is also caused by kids getting used to eating delicious, satisfying, inexpensive, yet high-calorie food that isn't healthy, like the food served in cafeterias. I am going to ask you some questions today about cafeteria food. All right. All right. First question. What are your thoughts on the cafeteria food? Do you like it or dislike it in any way? Well, I like the cafeteria food because, well, they have all different kinds of things like hamburgers or pizza. Um, sometimes they have orange chicken. So it might not be the healthiest food, but I like it. Okay, good answer. Number two, what are the main foods served at your cafeteria? Well, mostly pizza, hamburgers, and sometimes, uh, well, they have cookies and brownies. Any um, french fries? Not french fries, but chips. They have a lot of chips. Oh. And cinnamon buns. Okay. Next question. How is the food packaged? Is it in like plastic or like cardboard? Well, the pizzas are in individual slice, slices in cardboard boxes, but the rest of the food is usually in a tray with plastic on top. And then, yeah, so are the cookies and the brownies just in plastic. And like the churros and Cinnamon buns, or they just give them to you with a piece of wax paper. Okay, number four. What does your lunch usually consist of? Like your home lunch. The lunch that I bring to school? Yeah. Usually I have pasta and um, fruit. Sometimes like cheese. Okay. Yeah. All right, and now we're... Our last question, number five, how much does it normally cost for a full cafeteria lunch? Well, if you wanted to get a slice of pizza, um, that would be two twenty-five. Okay. And um, brownies are seventy-five cents. So are cookies. Um, uh, Gatorade, I think, is a dollar. And um. The, the hamburgers or the, the meals that they have for that day, those usually are $3 plus um, some fruit or like carrots or something. Okay, well that's all our questions for today. Thank you very much, Florette. Thank you. You did a great job. Cafeteria food is mainly packaged in styrofoam, which is very bad for the environment and will never biodegrade. Even if it is packaged in plastic or cardboard, it is very rarely recycled. Another way eating unhealthy food affects the environment is that it usually is not grown locally, so it has to be transported, which puts more pollution into the air. The most important thing that people can do to help stop this problem is creating awareness in their communities about the foods being served in their local schools. Once you have created awareness about this problem, there are organizations that can help give you ideas for ways you can improve school lunches in your community. One such organization is the Edible Schoolyard Project. Childhood obesity is a big problem. The food that kids eat these days affect their lives in many ways. Many children are obese because of their unbalanced eating patterns which cafeteria food has a part in. Young children eat whatever is put in front of them not realizing that it can be extremely unhealthy for them. When children become obese, sometimes their bodies aren't capable of doing fun things in life, which can cause depression in a child. Children need to be taught the importance of healthy eating habits and exercise, and need to have healthier food choices provided at school. Children should be healthy and fit and enjoying physical activity instead of avoiding it because of weight and health issues.